Policemen trained by America's FBI. And training to arrest powerful people in Ukraine accused of corruption. Corruption is huge. It's the number one problem in Ukraine. It's kind of a cancer or a tumor we have inside the country. Only the top officials had officially declared 26 billions in savings. And the majority of these people has never been to business. The majority of these people used to work all their life in the government, in the parliament, and they are billionaires. They're not even millionaires. So Ukraine created an anti-corruption bureau, and we met the detective investigating their biggest case. We can't identify him. He says Alexander Onyshenko, a politician who also competed for Ukraine at the London Olympics, cheated the Ukrainian state out of more than 100 million euros. Mr Onyshenko was involved with companies which allegedly bought state gas well below the market value. The detective says the companies were then selling it on at a much higher price and not paying enough tax. This case is very important. It's not a one-off crime. The scheme functioned for a long time and allowed one person to receive huge profits while stealing from the state. We were shown some of the evidence against Mr. Onyshenko. He left Ukraine before he could be arrested. He now spends much of his time in London and we spoke to him via video link. They have nothing against me. There are several witnesses ready to testify against you. People who say they were involved in the scheme that you were benefiting from. They will never have not one witness against me because I never worked there the last three, two, three years. I was out of the company. Your name is linked to some of the companies, isn't it? Myself, I, I had nothing to do with the management of the companies. Why don't you come back to Ukraine and face a, a trial? You know my situation. I have, I have, I have fight with President Poroshenko. Ukraine set up its anti-corruption bureau from scratch last year. The idea is that none of the officers here are tainted by corruption in the past. But creating a new national law enforcement agency is a Herculean task. And so far, no one has been convicted on this new organization's watch. And if Ukraine is to prosecute those who've left the country, it will need help bringing them home. The majority of the money flows go from Ukraine to England, to Spain, to, uh, to the Baltic countries abroad. And that's where they keep their money. And the majority of these countries keep protecting them. Western diplomats say corruption is Ukraine's number one problem. But tackling it is easier said than done. Tom Burridge, BBC News, in Kiev.